Hi there, welcome to the next video and in this video I will show you the basics of the range function. So far you have been, uh, you have, you must have seen me using the range function and uh, probably I have not given a good idea to you about uh, its different parameters but in this video I just thought of giving you a good idea about it so that you can use it efficiently. So what I have over here is the range function in the comments and uh, it basically accepts three different argument the start the when where should uh, the range start then where should it end and what should be the state step so if it is 1 10 and let's say step is 1 then you will get the value from 1 to 10 but if it is 1 10 and step is 2 then you know there will be an interval of 2 so let's see this thing in action so first of all what we will do is we will just specify one parameter which is range 5 so what it gives you the range 0 to 5 if you try to print the range or I would say I'll just store it into a variable called x right and now if I print x what it gives me simple range 0 to 5 that it is starting from 0 and ending on 5 and by default the step size is 1 so if you want to print all of this uh, all of the values well you can very easily write the for loop which you have already seen in the previous video so for i in x print i and you will get the range from 0 to 4 all right now let's take a next step and let me specify x1 as range um, 5 to 20 so it is starting at 5 and stopping at 20 and if i am not specifying the step size by default it will take 1 so if i execute this again if i try to print it you know what the output is coming right but to get the desired output we again use need to use the for loop like we used it previously so we get the desired output all right after that finally uh, the last step within the range so x2 goes to range 5 20 and let's say 2 so step size is 2 by default it is 1 so if I go and execute that and if I again try to print well you are aware what output it will give so now this time it has three argument because we manually specified the step okay so if i go a little bit down so that you can see it easily again i will use the for loop for i in x2 print x sorry i all right so here we have the list with a step size of 2 after 5 7 9 11 so a interval of 2 is working over here and giving you the desired output. So that's about the quick basics of the range function within the Python. And I'll meet you in the new video, a new topic.